Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 11, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios, and we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, Bitcoin has been on a very wild ride on Monday. We open right now, and it's a positive opening here, just above the middle of the bullish band. However, technical indicators for Bitcoin are looking fairly dreadful at this current stage. So, it looks like we are rounding off. It is quite difficult. It's just uh, when you just think that it's going to drop back towards the bottom, it rallies. And until we basically hit the bottom, I'm not going to conclude that anymore that we are going to drop. It is kind of trending sideways uh, and yeah, not really going anywhere. Most of the action is in um, in Ethereum and, and other uh and other smaller cryptocurrencies at this moment and not in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is technically just staying within 50, 50, 55K is where we have been for the majority of the last two weeks. So until we basically start breaking to the upside or to the downside, um, it is just a, a waiting game at this current stage. So let's look at Etrum. So a completely different story here. We're trading at 3,945 we did rally all the way up towards 4137 massive rally we are getting ridiculous high rsi levels as you usually do when this is re ready to tumble 25 30 40 probably so this is just getting absolutely ridiculous this move to the upside and a pullback should be expected at this point the middle of the bullish band around three thousand dollar level and down here at the 2500 will most likely be where this will find major support when it starts to tumble. Technical indicators are either flat, uh, basically all over the place. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bearish, CCI is bullish, and RSI is flat, significantly overbought at this current stage. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano has started to fall. We see there's a massive move to the downside uh, uh, on Monday. And when it opened now, it basically opened positive. So this will most likely uh, drop towards the middle of the bullish band or the 20 exponential, which is also the previous highs over here. So down around the 1.5, give or take, that is probably where this is going to. We have had a massive rally to the upside. Really nice move for Cardano. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly bullish and uh, macd is bullish the classic is bearish cgi is bullish and the rsi is flat at this current stage but it looks like we are going to round off before going back to the upside so let's look at litecoin so litecoin uh, rallied all the way up towards the 409 before dropping all the way down to 334 so it has been on a massive round uh, wild ride and now it opened uh, positive again and up 369. Technical indicators are all over the place. We're overbought, uh, but we could continue to the upside. This is fairly low for a cryptocurrency, and we're still far away from the top of the bullish band. Technical indicators are well mixed. The MACD is bullish, so CCI, stochastic is bearish, and CCI is uh, is uh, um, bullish, but becoming bearish at this current stage. So if we were to drop here, we most likely the uh, bottom of the market will be $300. Otherwise, breaking 400 will leave a go to 450 and probably also 500. So let's look at NEO. So NEO has dropped significantly the last few trading days and now we're heading towards support at the 20 exponential. So we, if we stabilize here, then we could get another run towards the upside. Otherwise, if we break down from here, we'll head towards the 50 down at 77. Uh, otherwise, technical indicators are looking very um, bearish indeed, but uh, 20 exponential has been holding for several months now, and there's no reason to expect anything different. We can see all the way back here, it has been basically bouncing off the 20 exponential all the time, so uh, it will most likely do the same thing um, now. So let's look at Dash. So Dash, very similar here. We have created this massive, <laughs> ridiculous... Uh, Calendar here, and since then we have been falling down to support, hit 351 here, uh, right there on Monday, and today we are starting to rally. We most likely 
continue breaking down and stabilize around this area here. If we draw up below the middle of the bullish map, we will probably head towards the 50 or down to 300 or 285. Technically, these are all turning around and uh, this will probably be a pullback before going higher. So let's look at Dogecoin. So it says it was created as a joke and uh, well, yes, uh, what do you say? SNL was basically a, a massive uh, bummer for this market. I don't know if people were just waiting for that uh, show in order to sell it off or to just buy more. Um, this happened after SNL. So it lost more than a third of its value um, and then rallied and then broke down again. And at this point, um, We'll probably see this stabilize, very similar to what we, saw, what we saw here. It looks like this is as far as this will go. However, technical indicators are looking very bearish. So that could be a sign that we need a stabilization here. If we break below the middle of the bullish band, we could drop all the way down to the 50, down here at 0 0.23. But uh, we haven't done that for a very long time. And last time we broke down, it didn't even get close to the 15 minute average and doesn't look like enthusiasm is for to sell this even further to the downside. So we may see a period where we stabilize here and then continue to $1 probably. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much.